Paris, Mechlen, Gant, Antwerp, Leiden, Utrecht, Rotterdam, Zanse, Zandam, Harlem, Amsterdam, Brussels, Dan, 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 Dan. Over the next few weeks, we'll be exploring 12 European cities in 15 days, trying delicious food, checking out the festive Christmas markets, and strolling through each city to discover its unique charm. Let the exploration begin. So, hello and good morning from Paris. Wow, the flowers are Tone, no? So that's my sister, uh, in case she makes it on YouTube. We are going to the uh, catacombs de Paris. I'm feeling a little blank and rusty. It's been a while. Come, let's go buy tickets. We're gonna go for the two. It's been a while. We haven't shot any video or any vlog due to the, uh, the uh, circum circumstances in the region. I'm not going to dwell into that, but you know, didn't feel right. We don't have the energy nor the uh, enthusiasm to uh, to go anywhere or shoot anything. But this trip has been planned for a while, so... And we both felt we needed the break, so here we are. And we deserve it. I mean, we've been working seven days a week. Catacombs de Paris, we all bought tickets. This is the 2.45 p.m. Uh, queue. Is the stuff decline down? Yeah. <laughs> now we go down. Just like that? And just like that. <laughs> so mainly we're going 20 meters down, which is under the metro and train and the sewage and the drinking water pipes. And this is where uh, uh, we will start seeing the underground world, where there is the catacombs. Okay. So these stairs are taking us 20 meters down. We have left the city and the world of the living to enter a maze of galleries that are the stuff of fantasy. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't expect to do this in Paris. You didn't expect what? <laughs> to do this in Paris. <laughs> the mother of uh, King Louis XIII started building these in the 1600s. She was trying to supply water to her uh, Luxembourg uh, uh, castle. Yeah. Uh, but the work wasn't uh, well done and it collapsed in the 1700s. It was transferred in the 1859 here because people didn't like uh, living close to the dead, so they sent them down. 1814 wasn't too long ago. So not all of them. These, they used to bury people under the church. But then people didn't feel uh, okay living so close from the dead. So they moved these people here and that's why it's that big. Oh, they so this is, this is from the hospital. So all these died in the hospital? Yeah. Or it was if they used to like bury people there. Because for example, this, the couvent de Carmes de la Place, because I think this is from like a monastery or something like that. So basically being buried underground is not uh, not not forever. At some point someone is gonna like pull you out and like shove you into this place. Yeah. Not you not you specifically. Yeah, not, uh, uh, yeah. Hmm. only the rich people afford to have their own uh, like well, and they do this to clear up the land? Yeah. 
I'm sorry to, to think it's like World of the Lost. All the people that have died in the past and that we've been wondering about for the past million years. It's yeah. like they're all here. It's like we found them. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm understanding is that this was like a uh, cemetery. This, this was the biggest move to the catacomb area. So this was the cemetery and then they just removed all the dead bodies mm. from the cemetery and they put them here? They yeah. stacked them on top of each yeah. other? These came from Eglise, like the church of Saint Laurent. That's so weird. No? Yeah, well, they cannot keep them over there. So over nothing there. is forever. Nothing Even, is even forever. Our, our graves are not forever. Of course not. This here says, for me, Death is a game. Is it? Well, yeah. How is it a game? In all religions. If a game for what? It's a game for you. It's a loss for the people that stay on earth. But you... What did I gain? I lied. You didn't die. You. In all religions, you go to a better life. On April 2, 1897, between midnight and 2 a.m., an incredible illegal concert happened here. How was 100 it? people were invited to a clandestine concert where they got a legal approval to do this here. There was a group of 45 musicians that they played some music by Chopin. So were they like playing it for the dead people? No, they were playing it to the invited people. They thought it would be cool to do this here. <laughs> I see the light. See the light in the sky. Interesting place, but I mean, everybody's dead. Well, now I understood what it actually is, which technically it's uh, it's like the main it's like the main dump where all these dead people were brought to rest here, which technically comes from different areas, different times, the revolution that we already saw. Uh, the plague. I was surprised that they like uh, clear out, they clear out uh, cemeteries and they just dump them all, uh, dump them all in that place. And we're like walking right over it right now. Okay. Sound jack. Oh wow. Hello, hello. Not too crowded here. Mm, it's a new one. We're on the Champs Elysees. We're finally here. Let me just take this in for a second. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Do us the honors. Bonjour. So I ordered the triple mushroom. So it's potatoes, uh, mushroom, and cheese. For you, we ordered the mixed uh, mushroom, which is uh, potato and cheese. Merci. Our first stop today is ha. This is 1951. This is 1984. So this is from 1984, 54, and 73. I think this is a special collection inspired from shapes, forms, and colors.
Au revoir. Merci, au revoir. I saw it from the logo. Oh. Musée d'art moderne de Paris. Musée d'art moderne de Paris. So we got Matisse, Henri Matisse here. Look at this wall. Sick. The thing is, when you go to more than one museum after uh, consecutively or one after the other, you tend to get tired and bored easily. And I think that's what's happening with Geo. So, um, but I'm loving these, I'm loving them. Raoul Dufy, I'm a new fan of Raoul. I'll definitely check Raoul Dufy out. And there he is. So this was the museum we were at, the uh, modern art museum. So we've got the Eiffel Tower over there, and we've got our Airbnb over here. Sometimes you gotta shoot yourself uh -huh. to, to make it on, to make it in the videos. getting too stuffy inside, too stuffy. I had to just like, I was about to tell you to get out from uh, the Invalid station. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Cedric Grolet. Well, he's a very well-known French chef that recently uh, expanded uh, internationally. It was the hardest ticket. <laughs> to find uh, so you can either book a table or uh, wait click, click, click and collect go stand in the queue uh, to see whatever is available whatever is still available uh, for us we did the, the click and collect so we were able to book three desserts and collect them today between three and five so basically we, we, we paid for our desserts two weeks ago that we didn't even have yet 54 euros Yep, the three parts. Of course, this is not an ad for uh, Cedric, but uh, it's just for us, for the experience. We paid for the food, so. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> so, yeah. I just want to see what uh, what Cedric Grolet is all about, or if he's uh, worth all this hype he's getting. I'm sure he is. I see the font for Cedric Grolet. <laughs> so th that's the queue. But supposedly, we shouldn't be standing in queue. Look at that queue. Oh, wow. That's it over there. So that's what I mean by the hype. It's this hype. Right over here. Bonjour. Merci. Bonjour. Good. 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 C'est Giovanni. I feel like trying several things actually. Everything looks good. Everything smells good. 
Alors, pour les deux coups de chocolat, ça nous 40 euros. Merci. Voilà. Ouais, tu veux qu'elle baisse Yeah, oh wow. Bon, ça va. Au revoir. Au revoir. Merci. Merci. That smells so good. <laughs> I don't mind high five something out now. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. This is my niece Serena, who's going to be on YouTube for the first time with me on the channel. So, my name's Serena. I got the mic on me. So, yeah. It's a really good time. So, basically, we are approaching the Eiffel Tower. I don't know, I like visiting the Eiffel Tower at night when it's all like sparkling and gold and stuff like that. Giovanni. Merci. <laughs> 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 Bad at all. Merci. So we ended up eating at uh, Iolanda or Iolanda. Iolanda. So we're starting off with the tomato soup. Again, I know the lighting is uh, horrible. There is a flickering thing going on, I know, but what can I do? How's the soup? Creamy. Creamy? So we ordered two tomato soup, pizza and a uh, garlic and oil pasta. Bon appétit. Merci. So this is the vanilla tart. And this, this is, is the um, mango tart. It would actually. A burst of flavors. Yeah. With an organic taste. So it was finally decided on uh, getting the small menu, which consists of one orange juice, one coffee, do you got the American coffee, and two croissants. Typical petit déjeuner français. Here we go. And that's the soccer car up there. Can you see the soccer car? Do you know what we've done through to get here? <laughs> and that's the sinking house over there. Yeah. And the, the whole idea of the sinking house is that it's all about taking uh, the right photo from the right angle. Let's try and do this. A lot of people don't know about the sinking house. So I guess I'll be the only one taking a photo of that building instead of shooting the soccer car. So what you do is this. It's like that. You make the grass. Is this how you do it? Mm. You make the grass go like mm. that? Yeah, no. No. More. Wait, wait, wait. Excuse me. Here it comes. Huh? Here it comes.
So we just made it to Galerie Lafayette just to check the Christmas designs out. Crazy packed Gallery Lafayette. So we opted at Jacques Cinq for the homemade uh, onion soup. Technically, the onion soup is made of onions, some cream, uh, spices, and a lot of cheese. That's the cheese that you see on top. If you guys can smell it, you love the bacon smell. Basically, we're going for a walk at the Marais. So yeah, basically we got these, uh, these cards and you fill them up on the, uh, the Rat P app. And then you can just uh, go in and out using this card. It's like the Oyster card in the UK. You take the card, you scan it here. It gives you the green lights, and then you just pass. Okay, so we're at uh, somewhere close to the Marais at Al Solito Posto. Uh, I ordered a uh, kind of spaghetti pasta with uh, garlic and olive oil and some olives, some fries to share, and Gio got his risotto. So this was... Uh, what was it called again? What should I call it? Al Solito Posto. Uh, actually, this was one of the good, good places. Mm -hmm. Good food places I've had since we came here. And uh, last night's dinner was good. Quick service. <laughs> Discounts when you're here. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gloomy and everybody's asleep, but it seems like everybody's uh, out heading to work, heading to work, out and about. Christmas market happening over here. Mm -mm -mm. Got some crepes. I think the Christmas markets in Germany are better. Sorry, Frenchies. But I think in uh, this time last year we were in Dusseldorf and Cologne and it they were like way better than that. And that's the hotel. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, Est-ce que vous avez des crêpes? Oui. On veut deux crêpes Nutella, oui. s'il vous plaît.
that's the painting. So basically, that's George Pompidou. So we've got galleries three and four over there. We've got a coffee shop up there. We've got the library down here. Centre Pompidou never disappoints. C'est le peuple malien. Morning guys, it's Napske on our last day in Paris. This time we went for the complete uh, formula, which is a tartine, a jam, a croissant, orange juice, a hot drink, uh, and two omelettes bio coming. Coming our way. <laughs> That's our last morning in Paris. We are ordering an Uber in like an hour or so. And uh, yeah, having our last breakfast. Champions breakfast. And now we're ready to go to our next destination. <laughs> Let's just show you our Airbnb before we leave. It's a bit uh, tidied up now. Kitchen, sitting area, big terrace or big balcony that just stretches out all the way here. And that's our view basically. I would have liked it if our view was on the other side of the building, facing the, the river, and if we were a bit higher for those time-lapse videos. But it is what it is, we turned out to be on the first floor on this side of Paris. Probably already showed it before, but that's the building we were staying at. It's called Orfe. And we were on the first floor over there. Oh, that's it. So it's 18 to 11. Paris done.